back to you. Thank you very much, Sarah. Looks like she's got herself sorted. Watch out with that paddle, though, especially around children. Anyway, if you're looking for something to do in your social diary, we've got just the thing. Sorry, Yoon's in the kitchen. Here's Laurie McNeil with her What's On Guide. Good evening, Edinburgh. Let's take a look ahead at what you can get up to this week right here in your capital city. It's the middle of the week and we've got a right mixed bag of things for you to get up to. The Voodoo Rooms hosts its monthly live jam session tonight from 9 o'clock. Jamming at Voodoo features some of Scotland's leading musicians playing lounge grooves from genres including blues, soul and funk. Recently, Elvis Presley's legend guitarist James Burton showed up. Entrance is free, but get along early if you want a good seat down at the front. Edinburgh Music Theatre launches its latest major production this week. Chessy Musical has original music from the Abba Boys and lyrics by Tim Price. The production will take place at the Churchill Theatre stage at 2.30 and 7.30 each day this week until Saturday. Now, the weekend starts at the stand on a Thursday. They've got five acts on a two-hour stand-up showcase. Featuring friend of the show, Bruce Devlin, as host, there's a good mix of comedy headliners, support acts and a short spot for a newcomer. It's good value as it's often the same lineup as their Saturday night show for a fiver less. Doors open on Thursday night at 7.30. Now, we love to hear from you on the Fountain Bridge Show and you can get in touch with us via Facebook, Twitter and email. Remember to download the SCV Edinburgh app to keep up to date with, with what's going on in the city. If you don't fancy heading out tonight, here's a rundown of what else is coming up right here on SCV Edinburgh. Straight after the Fountain Bridge Show, we have all your dedicated SCV Edinburgh news and weather at 8 o'clock. Then it's My Life in 10 Pictures at 8.30 and we have two episodes of Take Me from 9 o'clock. All that and more still to come right here on SCV Edinburgh. Thank you, Laurie. Coming up on your Fountain Bridge Show tonight... How the Americans are in line for a touch of Edinburgh. And Edinburgh singer-songwriter Alan R. Davison's providing you music tonight. And our guest reviewers help us find out what's got Edinburgh talking. See you soon. Hello again from the Fountain Bridge Show live on STV Edinburgh. It's now time to see what we're all talking and reading about in Edinburgh and beyond this Wednesday night. We're joined by author Katrina Child and PR expert and he asked me to say guru. I didn't oh, say that. Did. That's, that's <laughs> not fair. <laughs> <there. laughs> <laughs> now we're good pals. It's fine. Bit of laugh. Hey, uh, Alex Orr. Hello, guys. How are you? Very well, thank you. Good, good. I haven't seen you for a while. I know. I know. You've kept me away. You see, when I'm back. <laughs> you been on holiday Avengers. again? I haven't, I'm afraid. No. The last time you no, were in the show, you'd been on holiday in a nice sunny I, place. I had. I'd been in the Caribbean. Yeah, unfortunately, oh, but oh, you know, back to this now. Uh, I'm sorry, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I Katrina, how's your wee one? She's fine, yeah. She was 10 months at the start of the week. Oh, happy 10 month birthday! <laughs> Is she sitting up watching Mum and Telly tonight? Well, she's probably. Well, Dad's giving her a bath, so I don't know how that's going to be going. Hard out to the house! <laughs> <laughs> talking points, number of talking points to get through. Let's go with talking point number one. Calton Hill, Alex. Yes, these are proposals that have been put forward by City of Edinburgh Council and a non profit art group called collective to redevelop the old city observatory on Calton Hill, which many will be familiar with. It's this sort of domed building on the top of the hill and associated buildings around it into retail, a restaurant and some art galleries as well. So it's obviously fantastic to see that being used uh, for something. Uh, comes hot on the heels, obviously, of the old Royal High as well, just yeah. at the foot of it. But it's good to see a sort of currently sort of vacant part of the, the city being redeveloped and regenerated as well for, you know, for good, good productive use. You're always surprised at the amount of people that you see up Colton Hill, don't you? Yeah. And you always think, oh, I'm going to go for a wee walk up Colton Hill, there'll be nobody there. And it's always heaving. It so do you think, what do you think, Katrina? Does do it think, need it? Yeah, we're going to get used well, to this. Well, take away from the, 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 the scenery, the scenery and, and what it is at the moment. Well, you'll still have the amazing views when you get up there, but it just means you can have a wee cup of tea and a cake as well in the, in the restaurant. And, and they're going to be... Um, the original interiors, I think they're going to be keeping, so you, the, oh, we'll the astronomy oh, instruments they're going to be putting out on display, and these buildings are going to be open to the public for the first time ever, apparently, So yeah. and they're going to be free to get into, so I think it's a, a positive thing. So is that a big thumbs up for this idea? Big thumbs up, so far, yeah. What would you like to see at the top of that hill? 
Uh, what would I like to see? Yeah, what would you like to see up there? Uh, I don't think we want to talk about that this <laughs> evening, Ewan. Um, well, I think obviously you know, a nice restaurant would be good, uh, some retail, nice sort of shop, etc. And uh, you know, you making good use of the gallery space, etc., for getting some you know, maybe some, some sort of young Scottish artists, young Scottish talent in there to, to exhibit and show off their wares in, in a great setting. And when do we expect something like this to happen? Well, I think they're looking towards the end of the year to start sort of getting various partners on board to start bring, taking it off the ground. So looking for a retail operator, looking for a restaurant operator and the like. So probably towards the end of this year, things will be starting to, to, to happen. To move in that, that front. direction. Yeah. So we're looking at a couple of years before we could probably, maybe see a restaurant yeah. and all sorts of things yeah, up there. Yeah, at the sort of pace, yeah, that would be that sort of time we're looking at, yeah. No burger vans, though, hopefully. No burger vans, no. <laughs> Not that there's absolutely. anything wrong know, with them, no, but... No, and they have their place. Hill, yes, they, they have do. their place. Now, second story, trade bins to be cleared. Yeah, could so you so tell us about this? this? This new policy that's being phased in from April, um, <coughs> they're trying to get rid of the trade waste bins, so businesses will no longer be allowed to leave them permanently out on the street. They've got to find somewhere else to keep them. They're, Where they're, are they going to put them? <laughs> they're well. big on Hill in this <laughs> new gallery. <laughs> yeah, That's down there. There's um, certain windows during the day now where they can put them out, but they're only allowed to leave them out for an hour within this window. So, I mean, it's going to be great for the residents and it's going to look nice and it helps with vermin and fly tipping. But then at the same time, I think it's going to be a real hassle for the businesses who, as you say, have to find somewhere to put these bins. Well, we've been talking about this story on social media. Mm. It's, in a, it's from the Herald, so if anybody wants to check it out online, we're all over it on STV Edinburgh tonight. So what do you think yeah. about this, Alex? Uh, it seem, I mean, it seems reasonable to me, to be honest. I mean, we're, we're often we're used to all these big trade waste bins hanging around the streets and, and causing trouble and, uh, you know, blocking people and, and sort of hindering them in their, in their, uh, as they walk around. And I think to, to restrict that, get them off the streets, put them back on at, at, at you know, restricted hours or put smaller bins on, it seems logical. Where, where it's worked, where it's worked. Where are they going to put them? But they need uh, them, so where are they going to put them if they 